Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we got something really cool. This is called Project Acoustics, and this is from Microsoft, and basically you can think of it as a ray tracer for audio. Now that would be a giant mistake to be honest, because it's not technically ray tracing, it is wave tracing. They're basically creating wave acoustics, uh, but the end result is sort of the similar, like how you bounce a bunch of light into a scene to, to ray trace an image. This is bouncing a bunch of waveforms into the scene to create cool audio. It's available for Unity and Unreal Engine. We'll come back to some of the details details about it in a second. I want to show you both of the demos. Now, interestingly enough, it comes with an Unreal Engine 5 and a Unity demo, and the demos are completely different. But once you see the demo, you'll have an idea of what this is all about. So let's go ahead and play this. All right. In the real so world, here we, we are in the scene. Audio visual cues to understand and the world that is the sound source. The sphere right here. Cues so as I move around it, environment. you're going to probably want to have headphones or something on to hear this. Audio you hear how it's panning around the world? Well, it's also Similar taking into account all of the various, you know, let me pause it, all of the various different surfaces in this world for how that sound is going to be dampened, dead, and, and so on when it bounces through the world. So here, let me turn it back on. Object lighting, do so on the visual and side. No acoustics. The approach to acoustics described here is a tool that analyzes virtual worlds acoustics. to create a realistic simulation so now let's of pass what around the, in the world. world will sound like. The analysis includes both the geometry and the materials. And you're hearing the, the, the different world. echoes based off where it's at. At the same time, I can put this thing in some places. So let's put it down in this hole. So our sound source. So let's go place it right here. And we can also change what it is, by the way. So we can make it sound like one of these in three the real things. world so let's go with music and then as i move away so acoustics off and then the results and the results so it basically allows you to place sound sources into the world and then interact with your world environment. I'll show you how this works, but first I'm going to go ahead and show you the Unity example also. By the way, I have run into some bugs in the Unreal Engine side of things, so just uh, expect the same. Now here we are, Unreal Engine, the user interface, and the, the entire demo is completely different, to be honest. So here you see, you go into a room, about the surrounding environment. In virtual worlds, and this is simulating audio with acoustics increases the effect of being in a snow-filled room. We can come over here. This is the effect of sound. So let's place a, place a sound source here. Analyzes virtual worlds to create a realistic simulation of what the virtual world will sound like. So that's what it would sound like in a grass room. And now let's go and kind of do a completely different kind of sound. So we're going to have metal, which has very different uh, acoustical properties. And and any occlusion or obstruction effects so that might occur you can immediately hear geometry. the results so by the way you can right click in the real world, and change different audio visual so play and pause to understand the world around them off and on so acoustics perceptual cues in a metal room in virtual course worlds, bake combining spatial audio with acoustics fine baking user immersion similar to no acoustics at all with realistic object lighting do so on the visual side so acoustics. The approach to acoustics described here is a tool that analyzes virtual very interesting project for sure so i'm going to show you how they actually go about implementing things uh i'll show you on both sides so first the unreal engine side where i find that it's bugged it says it needs python i have python installed it doesn't work uh but in terms of actually using this guy it's pretty simple you basically got to set up some sound sources so these are actual um the audio files in your scene you need to come down here and basically set uh, project acoustics attenuation settings on this guy uh, and a few other things that you can set up as well uh, on top of that you tag all of the various different actors in your world uh, that are going to be part of the simulation we'll get back to that in just a second and then finally there is an object basically for controlling everything the acoustic space object right here you place one of these in your world and you set up the various different settings and of course you set the acoustics data this is baked out sort of like you would bake light maps for example uh, uh, and we'll get to that. Well, we'll get to that when we get back to the Unity side of things. So in terms of how you actually control this stuff, well, you go down to Bake Acoustics, and you're going to see you've got four settings. Basically, just one, two, three, four kind of approach. One is you pick all of the objects you wish to uh, tag. So basically, everything in the world that is part of this is tagged. So we're going to go ahead, select the tagged items. Everything that you see here has the tag attached to it. If it's got that tag, it is part of the simulation. And then what happens when you do is bake the probes, uh, it creates a voxelized world model, and that will be part of the baking process. Unfortunately, this part is bugged. I have no idea why. Uh, but second part here is you set up all the various different materials. So the materials in your world, the various different... So this guy right here uh, has a material applied to it. This uh, 
MI, MS Basic, Paint, Blue, just normal material or whatever, where you set up the equivalent over here, and then that is how the interaction will work. So you see, uh, so MI, MS Base, Blue, where it, it'll be here. So I think that's it right there. Well, this is setting the, the level of sound absorption that that material will have. So zero is really reflective, and one absorbs all of the sound and completely will deaden the sound. So you set up the absorption of your materials that are applied to your texture. So you should be able to integrate this into an integrating seed, no problem at all. So now we're going to head back over to the Unity side of the equation right here, and you're going to see the approach is quite similar. First off, you have your sound sources. So sound sources, we've got the three different audio clips you can play, the voice, the the music and so on. Well, what you'll see here is for each one of these, there's a couple of scripts attached. So in this case, you add an acoustics um, adjust script for uh, the acoustics adjust experimental and demo source. These are what tag it as being a sound source as part of the equation. And then you're going to notice we have all these different uh, level areas. Well, they have acoustics objects attached to them. So let's say, go ahead and find so ceilings, ceiling tile, and let's pick one of these. And you're going to notice it has an acoustics geometry script attached. Anything with this tag attached will be part of the simulation. So that's really all you need to do on this side. You're also going to notice there is this object right here. And this is the demo controller. And you set up the various different properties here as well. And then in terms of controlling this one, what you do is you go to your window and you go to acoustics. And otherwise, it's the exact same process. You go objects, you define the objects into the scene that will work with it. So you can set it up to be your nav mesh. Uh, here you can see if I, when I select something, so for example, I'll select this area. Oh, we'll do seven. So seven is visible on screen. This should be the grass area right here. We select that. And you're going to see we have uh, 469 objects tag. They all have that little tag. They will be part of the simulation. The same thing is you go through and you set up the various different materials. So like the snow has a really high absorption coefficient, for example, uh, whereas the metal had a very low, bounced back quite a bit of. So you set up the absorption co uh, coefficients over here. Uh, you set your probes in your world, either coarse or fine, build them. This will basically voxelize your world for part of the simulation. And then we get into baking. Now, baking works uh, right now the easiest way, and this is where Microsoft is making their money, is to send it off to uh, Microsoft Azure, which is their cloud computing solution, and have their servers calculate for you. Now, if you want, you can actually set up your own server here. So you don't need to use Azure. You don't need to pay a cent. But if you want, these are not trivial calculations. So if you want it to perform pretty quick, uh, you can integrate with your Azure account right here, send it off, it'll bake it, and then bring it on back. And then you hook that up as the data as part of the simulation. In terms of what this works with, on the editor side, you can only edit in Unreal or Unity on the Windows version. But you can build for uh, Windows, Mac, Android, and Xbox, I believe, are the supported targets. We'll get that right now, actually. We'll go back to some of the details here. So that is uh, Project Acoustics in a nutshell. Uh, if you want to get more into depth about how this works, again, this would the realistic way of thinking of this it's like light map baking, uh, but the way you're doing it, you're not casting rays into the world, you're casting waveforms that then uh, interact with the various different objects in the world. Uh, so that's why waves don't work great. So they're saying is to couple real sound wave based acoustic simulation with traditional sound design concepts. Uh, it translates simulation results into traditional audio DSP parameters for occlusion, portaling, and reverb. Designer uses control over this translation process. Uh, controls over this translation process. For more details, you can hear about the research available right there. They also did a GDC speech about this technology. They do have uh, rundowns on both setting this up for Unity and Unreal Engine. And in both cases, uh, there is a W Weiss support as well. So you can use it with built-in Unity audio or W Weiss. Uh, ditto for Unreal Engine audio or W Weiss. The workflows, as you saw from this, they're both pretty clean and straightforward, except for the fact that um, for some reason, Unreal Engine doesn't work right now. Uh, but uh, they're... It's, it, it's not that hard to integrate this into your existing scene. Uh, there are the supported platforms available right there. There is decent documentation on walking you through all this. So for example, I come down to Unity, I go to Bake down here. This walks you through the process with um, setting it up and sending it off to Azure, all the various different materials you got to work with and so on. But you'll notice if you get to the bottom, you can create your own you can run it on your own machine, uh, but you do need to have Docker set up. And I didn't want to install Docker, so I didn't demonstrate that in this example. But you do not need to use Azure. You do not have to pay a cent. You can set up your own server for doing the baking. I have no idea what the performance will be like at that point in time, to be honest. But uh, it's a very interesting project. I, I I like the result. You may not. In the end, they, they may not sound better to you. But you can see, again, it does uh, voxelization of the world. Um, and yeah, 
creates this acoustic audio. It's get it's really the easiest way to think about this. This is ray tracing offline for audio, except for more like light map baking offline for audio. Uh, but you get kind of a more realistic audio creation or simulation out of this. Uh, it's an interesting project. I'm interested to hear what you think of it. Let me know. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.